Enthusiastic introduction, Nick here, ready to take a look at the Kebab Baby Tooth. Small, cute, 1S drone, real hot ripper. Let's take a look. I just got finished with this because, as some of you may know, these parts, the motor and the frame in particular, are very hard to come by. I'm not sure why supply is so tough, but that's sort of been the case with both of Kebab's toothpick builds. Um, but I finally got my hands on these motors. Uh, these are 1202.5, 11,500 kV. Really fun quad to fly. One of these little guys is a lot of fun if you're all alone with no one to see and nowhere to go. So cheers, FPV hobbyists. The build is fairly straightforward, uh, although I will say soldering on this, uh, this is the Beta FPV 1, the new 1S whoop board. The pads are very small, and um, depending on what VTX you use, I'm using the Flywoo Goku VTX, um, if you use that or something like the Nameless RC uh, Nano VTX, you will uh, you will find that you have to double up on the solder pads. Um, it's a little little hard to see here, but I had to double up on the five volt and ground pads down there, so it was a little bit of a pain, but I was able to get that on there. Um, otherwise, I have the Runcam Nano 3, which apparently is out of stock due to some COVID um, limited parts. I'm using the Gemfan Tri-Blades because I find these to be a little more, have a little more grip, especially with this sort of thing. You know, you're going to be probably navigating small areas, so I prefer the Tri-Blades. The Bi-Blades, I would recommend if you're in a larger space and need a little more punch these are the props i prefer regarding the battery and the plug um i'm actually just using these beta fpv 450s that come with the bt 2.0 um i don't want to be re-soldering the my battery leads that's just such a pain um and mr shutterbug mentioned um and i agree that the having an XC30 on this tiny quad is a bit overkill and just adds more weight. So I'm just using these 450s. I'm getting four to five minutes of flight. So I don't know why Kebab's recommending a 600 or a 650 for this tiny quad. Um, I find these being just fine and you're also saving, you know, quite a bit of weight. I had to extend the battery lead here um, for, for this particular build, but otherwise it was fairly straightforward. Motors are all plug and play, which is nice. Using the Newbie Drone B Brain mount. As far as the PIDs go, uh, Kebab has some PIDs listed. If you if you go on the page for, I believe the frame, and I'll put a link to that in the description. The frame page has some PIDs, and also Shutterbug linked to some Betaflight 4.1 PIDs, which I'm using on this build. Let's see, you probably can't see that. 39.7. You can, I don't know if you can read that. 39.7 grams, and then I will toss, toss on our battery. 52 on the dot. So pretty light on the lighter side of where these builds go. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'd highly recommend this build if you can get your hands on the parts. They're hard to come by, but it's really fun, great for small spaces. Uh, this thing is super fast, super smooth for its size. And just as a little preview, this is another video I'll be doing fairly soon. This is a uh, Cadex Vista 3-inch build for the DJI goggles, and stay tuned for this build coming up.